JJ Jinx! Truck, Truck stop nice! What did you just say to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! This is fucking dark! Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god! These are fucking awesome. These are savage. I love it. Who thought this was okay? <laughs> Fuck you. <clears throat> oh, God. I'm still recovering from the previous ones. We, I was, yeah. we were laughing so hard. I got a new drink. So this one is from 1988. Good, decent year. Dinosaurs attack! And it shows a red dinosaur biting a green dinosaur. And for some reason there are people running away. Hey, of course. Five oh. cards, one sticker, one stick bubble gum. These fucking bubble gum sticks. 25 cents. We all know that God created all the creatures at once, including the dinosaurs. We got a... Yeah, none of these. I would be really surprised if we got an intact stick of gum. It would be amazing. I don't see it happening. Okay. That shit's nasty, by the way. We have video proof. This is in, this one's called "The Truth About Para Sarla Sar <laughs> Parasarolophus." Too many oh, lies have been so spread. Like, about right underneath it, it, it has it has like the phonetic spelling it, saying it. Parasaurolophus. Too many lies have been spread about Parasaurolophus. Oh, it's the sticker. Oh my God. What? So here's the Parasaurolophus eating a baby out of a baby carriage. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you just say to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah. That's a baby carriage. It's like a and snack. And there's like a fucking arm hanging out of his mouth, and the leg is falling off, and a pacifier. Jesus. <laughs> this is fucking dark. <laughs> what the fuck? Who thought this was okay? This is amazing. It was the 80s. The, uh, the 80s were something else, man. Wow, if, if that's... We should have gotten more fucking dinosaur attack. I know, they had a bunch. We gotta go oh, back. We gotta drive all the way back to Philly. Length, 11 meters. Size of... 11 head. meters? Yeah. Fucking baby killer. I'm surprised it's in metric. Size of head crest, as much as 92 centimeters. Era Cretaceous. Meaning of name? Parallel crested reptile. And then there's a whole block of text... Uh, I'll just read it, like, really fast. Curious-looking Parasaurophilus, or whatever, belonged to the species Hadrosaur. Trachodon is also a member of this group. A gentle plant-eating creature, he lived only in... No gentle plant-eating creature? <laughs> um, <laughs> we have proof that that is a lie. <laughs> um, a gentle plant-eating creature, he lived only in North America. The impressive crest on his head is made up of two hollow tubes, one on top of the other, and joined at the far end. The front end of these tubes linked up with the nostrils, similar to a trombone. Hmm. This, crest, instrument. this crest may have been used to produce a highly distinctive hooting sound. Hooting sound? All right, we are on the air, sled god. Well, this is already interesting. This dinosaur's attack... It's fucking... I'm not going to look at the front yet. My... The back is a wedding reception invitation covered in blood. It says, at half after two o'clock, Daffodil Club, Morning Glory Road, Pinewood Landing, Long Island. So here's the invitation covered in blood. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. What? There's just so much happening. They, like, dinosaurs attack is... This is, like, literal as fuck. 
So it's like a triceratops fucking showed up at this wedding and he's impaled. impaled the bride and the groom. He's like stomping on one father-in-law. Another father-in-law is like trying to protect the cake and about to be killed. And luckily, someone's in the background taking a photo of all of it. Um, Jesus Christ. This is amazing. Somebody had to, like, come up with this. And they got permission and, to print. And they hired an artist. Like, I am fascinated. I thought this would be a dud. Just like, oh, it's a... I thought it would just be like, here's the fun source. facts about dinosaurs. Yeah. This, this is... This is well, amazing. any expectation I had. We, we don't gotta check eBay because I don't want to drive all the way back to Philly, but I will. Okay, so this one is printed to look like a newspaper article mm -hmm. in Italian. It says Il Gazzettino, which means Italy under siege. Translated edition. So, thank God. That's the article. I'll read it real quick. It's pretty long. Okay. The land of Da Vinci and Michelangelo was laid waste by a horde of enormous prehistoric monsters at the worldwide emergency as the worldwide emergency continues. Hundreds watched in disbelieving horror as the famed Sistine Chapel was reduced to rubble. The Italian police were helpless as some of the world's most cherished paintings and sculptures were obliterated. So this is like a cultural war. <clears throat> and dinosaurs. dinosaurs are like, fuck your art. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck we, your we human don't, We don't just want to destroy bullshit. the humans. We have to erase them from <laughs> existence. <laughs> In Pisa, the famous Leaning Tower was toppled under the enormous weight of two raging reptiles. Frustrated by the unfolding events, many Italian citizens cinched, oh, clenched their fists and shouted angry words skyward, <laughs> blaming Dr. Thorne and his time scan invention for the tragedy that has befallen our planet. This is getting deeper and deeper. So, I guess if you get the full collection, it tells a story. I guess. And then it says, see card number 11 trapped in the basement. Oh, my <laughs> God. Okay. Describe So it. here they are destroying the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And you got some planes flying overhead. Um, and then you ha have a lady wearing a floral shirt, like, panicking. And the red dinosaur has a human, like, in his paw, in his hand, or her hand. And it's, like, grass. Oof. That's yeah, pretty good stuff. <laughs> it's like an old grandma, like holding her head, going like, ah! Okay, wow. That's. Also, though, I think it's worth noting that, like, there's like explosions on the Tower of Pisa, as well as people hmm. flying off the Tower of Pisa. So we have like a. This. this this and was way before 9-11. Like, the shoulder of the, the red dinosaur, there's an explosion there like he's being shot at. Um, and you got two planes. This is, like, some Nostradamus shit. This card might have predicted 9-11. That's what I'm saying. Wow. <sighs> Dr. Thorne. Dr. Thorne is ruining the world. Let's learn more. Is this the last one? No, there's two more. Thank God. All right, this is from the Boston, the Boston, the Boston Examiner. All right, so we're back into North America. Blue water, savage death. Luxury liner sunk by aquatic reptile. All right, there's a whole article. I'm going to go fast. Atlantic Ocean. Not since the loss of the Titanic has a maritime disaster so startled the world. At 2.19 Eastern Time, PM or 
at a.m. No one knows. I don't know. Uh, the Meridian's queen was capsized by an enormous amphibious dinosaur. According to the lone survivor, cruise director Sheila Steinberg, the monster toyed with the ship for a few minutes. It's always the Jews. The waiting child might play with a plastic boat in the bathtub. Then it sunk its massive jaws into the bow, instantly flooding the passenger decks. After the battered line disappeared beneath the rising waves, several lifeboats were swallowed in single gulps by the relentlessly pursuing reptile. They said amphibian before, now it's a reptile. Come on, guys. Where's Dr. Thorne? To, to also, your, your Boston accent kind of became like a Kennedy. It's, well, it's still, it's still it's Boston. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Re remaining victims swam for their lives not only the most savage death wow swam for their lives only to meet savage death, savage death in the shark infested waters of the Atlantic and then there's this little picture of like yeah, Mount gives, Rushmore it's like a preview oh I see for the next card the Mount Rushmore has like a dragon oh, anyway um <laughs> Jesus. All right. So it's got this big, like, over-the-top dragon gator thing. And the shark. And then a shark that's, like, just a mouth. And one guy. And, okay, so I guess this is a really weird cruise ship with... If, if this there's a human falling out of the cruise ship, and if that's proportional, that man is humongous. Like, that guy is, like, 40 feet tall. But, um, yeah, this is horrible. Uh, all right. There you go. Yes, sir. More than, I think more than the previous ones, I want the full collection of this one. These are so really far. fun. These are a good time. Who's okay. Dr. Thon? We gotta find out. Okay, this one's another, like, newspaper clip. It says, Entombed. So that's what this one looks like. And it reads, Sierra Mountains, California. Of all the wild horrors happening of late, none can compare with the tragic de demise of Harry Plume. Camping in the mountains with friends, Harry left his tent to relieve himself in the nearby woods. How, how would they know all this if he's like, Does Harry shit in the woods? Seconds later, blood-curdling screams were heard. His buddies rushed to Harry's aid, only to find the man embedded within a raging Tyrannosaur. And raging? And raging. Okay. And raging? Alright. A, a raging. It, it, it's raging. Okay. Embedded. <laughs> it seems the monster materialized in the same space as poor Harry. And their oh, atoms became fused. This is X Files oh, shit. shit. Still alive within this bizarre, unholy abomination. They mean literally embedded. Yeah. All right. This is gonna look so funky. I'm excited. He screamed for help, as the enormous reptile stomped aimlessly about the campsite. Finally, Harry was put out of his misery when Sam Masters, his best friend. Shot him directly in the chest. They still don't explain how they know he was shitting or pissing. He could have just oh. been going for a walk. Wow, this is nightmare fuel. So there's the Tyrannosaur and Harry embedded inside of him. And, uh... And there's the guy with the gun on the left about to shoot him in the chest. I want to see this. Like, it's very creative. Whoa, so, whoa, there's something that you didn't point out, though. There's a person in the background with a flashlight, and if it's all in proportion, he's like at least 10 feet tall. It could be a forced perspective thing, but I think he's 10 feet tall. I think he's just 10 feet tall. I do. That's great. Poor Harry. Why? Why is this guy camping in a full suit? The guy with the gun. <laughs> That's the shadiest guy to me in this whole scenario. I think, I think 
I think that's the... Um, that's Dr. Thon. I think that's the guy who started this whole thing. That's Dr. Thon. Now we know. Eesh. These are fantastic. Last one. I, I thought, you know, no offense, but I thought you would... A little bit lame for buying I, dinosaur tags. This, these are fantastic. I got I, I, Next time we go to Philly. Illinois. Oh, man, I know just where to go. Where do we get these? That weird store. It was, yeah. On that store. No, the, yeah, okay. We'll fade out. Cat Lady's Revenge. This says Mastic Long Island. Long Island. Long Island. <laughs> I see. Long Island. Uh, Selma Plout. Did we hear that name before? Plout. Oh, look. You read. Wasn't that on that? That's kind of... Okay. Selma Plout is no pushover. When rampaging dinosaurs were reported in her area and the neighbors began abandoning their homes, Selma stood firm. She says, I just couldn't take all my cats with me. <laughs> I wasn't about to leave old friends at the mercy of those oversized lizards. She told the amused reporters... When a giant beast did show up, Selma blasted it to death with a shotgun. Apparently, this particular creature materialized in an unstable condition, and the gunshot sparked a chain reaction, which caused it to discharge electrical bolts and eventually self-destruct. Hmm. No matter, Selma's courage and devotion remain an inspiration to us all. Hmm. The, the shotgun did electrical bolts? Something very strange happened. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. All right. So this cat's just literally like crawling up the house. It's like a giant alligator. And she has demolished this thing's <laughs> fucking eyeball. Yeah. Jesus. That's a JFK shot. That, yeah. That puts JFK to shame. Not that it was his goal to have his brains fall out of his head or anything. Oh, if it was, you might don't If it bother. was his goal, he failed miserably compared to fucking Mrs. Plout. <sighs> that was... That, I, I got I need a moment to think like, about this. <laughs> these are fucking awesome. These are savage. I love it. These are... <laughs> from the beginning... With a fucking baby snacking on a baby, snatched out of his carriage and demolished. I the eighties were just a different time. A beautiful like, these were time. marketed to kids. Between this and the movie Real Genius, why did we ever let the eighties in? I know that's. I I you know, I, there were okay. So there was this bin full of cards, and I picked out the ones I thought would be the most interesting. Now I want to go back and just get. The whole fucking, fucking thing. All of them. There, there was like Desert Storm, Operation Desert Storm. We didn't cards. get any of those. No, those could have been amazing. What, I know. What were they? Were they farcical? Were they? Yeah. True to life. What were they? Were there dinosaurs in that one too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe there's a know. connection. Like <sighs> maybe Harry and Henderson. <laughs> 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 we should have a piece of gum. This gum is 29 years old. So it is. Crunchy ass gum gave my brother a nose, my 